So in this example, we're going to be talking about how we can use Pascal triangle for these combination problems. Now we have talked about these combination problems in the past. And in the past videos, we actually used the formula for the binomial coefficient in order to do these types of problems. And we can use Pascal's triangle to do these combination problems because the binomial coefficient formula comes from Pascal's triangle. So by using Pascal's triangle, you're going right to the source. So you could do these two ways. You could use the binomial coefficient formula, which actually comes from Pascal's triangle, or you could just straight up use Pascal's triangle, and that's what we're going to do here. Now, when we're talking about combinations, it's important to understand that order does not matter. So for example, let's say I have ABC. ABC. Well, I can rewrite this as CBA. I can also rewrite it as BAC. Okay? However, when you're talking about combinations, this whole thing here would count as only one combination. Okay? So order does not matter when you're dealing with combinations. If we were talking about permutations, then order would matter. But in this case, since we're talking about combinations, order does not matter. Okay? So that's important. So let's get right into this example. The first step that we need to do is we need to draw out Pascal's triangle. And now I have videos on this, so I'm going to assume you know how to draw out Pascal's triangle. It's very straightforward, so if you don't know how to, please watch those previous videos that I have uploaded in the past. But I'm going to go right into drawing Pascal's triangle, assuming that you know how to do so. So let's go ahead and do that. So just starting it off, one, 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 then two, one, one. Right, so we're just making Pascal's triangle. And in this particular case, I'm looking at my diagonal here, where it says one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go all the way to six, and I'll explain why after I'm done. So just continuing on with Pascal's triangle. Okay, so there we are. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go ahead and circle this diagonal here, so that's what we're going to be using. So again, that diagonal there tells you the exponent value. So for example, this would be an exponent of zero. We would use this row here. If we have an exponent value of one, we're using this row here, so we're using the coefficients one and one. If we have an exponent of two, we're using these coefficients in this row. If I have an exponent of three, I'm using the coefficients in this row and so on. Right, so you can see this diagonal tells you the exponent value, okay? And that would be the row that you would use. So let's get right into this problem. I first want to determine what's my total. It says how many combinations of four players can be put in the game out of a team of six. So our total here is six players. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my diagonal and I'm going to look for six, right? So here I go. Okay, there's six. That's my total. This means that I'm going to use the coefficients in this row for this problem. And once you do that, you draw out Pascal's triangle, you find the row that you're going to use, you're pretty much done with the problem. Now, what am I choosing? I'm choosing four players out of six. So now that I have the row that I'm going to use right here, I'm going to choose four. And you always start at zero when you're using Pascal's triangle. So for example, this one is zero, one, two, three, and four, okay? So I landed on that 15, this is our answer, 15. There are 15 combinations of choosing four players out of the six, okay, and you're done. So that's how you use Pascal's triangle for these combination problems. Again, the binomial coefficient formula, which we've used in the past for these combination problems, it comes from Pascal's triangle. So we can go directly to the source and just simply use Pascal's triangle to do these problems. All right, and that is it.